Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is medium now we are going to relive one of the classics of the Sakura Hills and we're going to obviously take our chances and stock up with some kingmakers before we start make sure that we do that you do hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications you can get ultimate tournament guides but now also the exclusive tour text guides by going to patreon com slash goal of clash tommy we are not just now going to have the best tournament guides out there but also tour guides as well so make sure to check that out so the sakura hills this is a hole that we have played many many times before so what i've done here is uh is that i have new videos for you to show you shots with various winds and also we do have a new fresh text guide for you as well to as always maximize your chance and opportunity of getting a chest or two with your shots so if you do get a hole in one onyx chest if you do get the yellow rings the fire chest we do have scarlet chest as the red ring we do have Topaz chest as a light blue ring and Azure chest as the dark blue ring. Press the question mark on the top right to get the frequently asked questions about the golden shot. If you do experience an error or have more questions, you press the button contact us on the top right corner. So, we're gonna play golden long iron, max plus 20 every single time, doesn't matter what wind, every single time that's going to be. And follow the VPR table on the right hand side or follow it in the text guide to make sure that you don't have to use any form of own calculator or for that matter an application uh, because the VPR table will give you what wind we're gonna have, it also will give you what um, the amount of rings you shall adjust. So, landing position is obviously the same as before. Blue ring by the bunker to the left and top of the blue ring by the start of the fringe. Those are the only two, two things to focus on. You can add spin before, you can add spin after, it doesn't matter. Because having two really clear references such as the top of the blue ring and left side of the blue ring makes us not having to use the ball guideline as reference at all. That's why not adding spin before or after doesn't really matter. So you do what you feel comfortable with, but focus on the blue rings. Let's uh, start off here, well, not start off, but let's continue with the videos then. We have wind coming right to left. We start by adding uh, the landing position. That's kind of what I do. I often do go landing position first before I add spin. It's just a comf uh, comfort thing. I could have done the opposite as well. As already explained before, three backspin, 0.5 bars of side spin to the right, 4.2 miles per hour is going to be 2.7 rings, and we're going to pull over bullseye. Very important because the bullseye, like let's say like this, if you pull to the bullseye or over the bullseye, that's going to make a difference in the amount of rings that you do adjust. So it is extremely important that you do pull over bullseye this uh, this time, or not this time, every time when you uh, hear me say that. Bouncing on the fairway, can we get it in directly on the first try? We cannot, we need a little bit more right spin, we didn't even get a zoom in, that's pretty bad in my opinion. But it's the first shot though, we're just feeling the course, we're just feeling the course. So, Rapier, uh, Falcon and then we do have some Kingmakers. Let's move on and go to the next one. We have a northeast wind here now, blue ring by sand, blue ring by start of fringe. And we do have uh, 3 miles per hour, which is the lowest wind that we can get. And obviously, I hope we get you get that all the time. Because the lower wind we have, the less the wind is going to obviously affect the shot. And it's going to be easier to get that one to drop. 3.2 bars of backspin, a uh, little click of left spin. And then we're going to adjust 2 rings. And once again, we're going to pull over the bullseye. 2 rings, I pull over the bullseye. And then it's time to take our shot. Have in mind that the shot clock in the golden shot goes quicker than the normal shot clock that we do have in the game. So don't take too much time because then you will time out. That has happened to me many, many times. Get in then. Oh, That is rude. Honestly, that's super duper rude because that ball should have been going in the hole. Just, just, just left of the cup there. And we get some Tsunami, we get some Kingmakers in the end, and we move on. Next one, wind coming left to right. And we do have 4 miles per hour. Find the position here with the blue ring, and then we shall apply spin, which is going to be 3 back spin. And I'm going to use, in this case, 0 0.6 bars of side spin to the left. 
4 miles per hour is 2.6 reins. Again, we're gonna pull over the bullseye, so I will in this case start at the yellow ring and pull over the yellow ring into somewhat, you know, 0 0.6 into the red ring. Obviously tough to adjust 0 0.6, 0 0.7, but, you know, do your best. Perfect ball. Bounces nicely. Can we get it this one in then? No, we missed that one on the right this time. Under, like basically under adjusting with the side spin here. So we need to correct that. We have, what do we have? We have two shots left to go. We need to get ourselves an all in one. Nirvana and the Kingmaker ball. We move on. We do have a win coming left to right with Tailwind. Let's see if we have learned something from what we did before. Uh, because then we do did miss left because we did have um, uh, we had a little click too much side spin. 3.7 miles per hour gives us 2.4 rings. Two point four rings is adjusted. Now it's time to hit a perfect ball. That's what we're looking for. Perfect ball, there we go, bounces on the fairway, getting it down there, we like how it zooms in like that, and we know it's going to be close, and we just snuck that one in on the right side of the cup, I will take it, I don't care how it drops, just that it drops, that's the only important part, Asia chest is what we're getting on this one, is because I already got the rest of the chest though, and you will see the onyx chest now, because we do have one more, or I have one more hole in one for you, when coming right to left, same type of landing position, blue ring to the left by the bunker, top of the blue ring by start of fringe. And then we're going to have in this case three backspin and I'm adding a 3.7 bars of side spin to the right. 2.2 rings, have in mind that if you do have wind uh, that is aligned with that um, tree, then make sure to zoom out a little bit because you cannot zoom in enough to avoid the tree, then you're gonna struggle. So zoom out a little bit and you have to eyeball the adjustment a little bit more than otherwise so now try to hit perfect is what we're gonna do and we will do that by hitting a perfect ball bouncing on the fairway getting it down here towards the pin and we get this one to do a 360 around the hole for another hole in one again i don't care how it drops just that it drops let's see here now what we do get in the onyx chest here if we do find something good Obviously, that is something that we always are hoping for. Amazon, yuck. But, you know, like, we got some kingmakers as well. Let's take a look at the text guide. And as always, it's made by our friend Tony Richardson. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Link in the description down below. This text guide you can find on various communities around the golf clash world also for free on golfclashtommy.com and in the description down below golden shot is and will always be free for everyone landing position top of blue ring by the fringe left of blue ring by the bunker and then we do have the uh, the blah, the wind we have straight tailwind three and a half backspin 0 0.2 left spin wind coming northeast 3.2 backspin 0 0.4 left spin wind coming northwest 3.2 backspin, 0.4 right side spin. Wind coming left to right, direct crosswind, 3 backspin, 0.6 left spin. Wind coming right to left, 3 backspin, 0.6 right side spin. Southeast wind, 2.8 backspin, 0.4 left spin. Southwest wind, 2.8 backspin and 0.6 bars of left spin, right spin. 2.2 backspin, 0.1 left spin in direct headwind. New tour shootout guides coming this week, offering you the complete golf clash package and... Yeah, check out patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy for that. Then we do have a text guide. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section below how, how everything went for you. I would love to hear. Also, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and a good luck in the golf in your golf clash game.